Welcome to Dark Angel Enets. I'm Angel, and it's January 30th, 2012. This is a knitting show with other neat pieces of my life mixed in. Sorry about that. Okay, five quick things about me. I'm a stay-at-home mom. I have three children, Catherine, James, and Caroline. I have two little kittens. They're crazy. I have a husband. I'm not sure if he's a pet or a person anymore. Kind of fits in both categories. And I live in Dublin, Ontario. Please join my Ravelry group. I have one up there now. It's Dark Angel E Knits. Um, please feel free to introduce yourselves. And when I get 10 people joined, 10 members, I'm going to have a prize. Okay? It's a works in progress. I'm currently working on this super cute pattern by Sidar. It's 3009. It's a little cardigan. It goes, I'm doing it for my daughter, so it's a size 6, I think. And I've got the one side done, only to discover I made a mistake. I didn't carry the pattern up. There was a mistake in the pattern. But um, I didn't carry that cute little eyelet row up the top. Yes, I discovered this too late, and I'm not taking it apart. And this is the second side. No lot there, huh? <clears throat> and then this is the back. It's completely done. Hooray! And this is all the yarn I have left for it so far. I have one more ball, so hopefully this is enough. Hopefully. And this cute little bag I made myself. These are my boxy bags. I will be putting them up on Ravelry. Or Etsy. Sorry. I have an Etsy shop too. <laughs> I'll tell you about it at the end. So this is my boxy bag. It's very cute. Nice handle. And it's um made it out of vinyl. And inside it's lined with this super cute stuff, cotton, and it has, um, it's extra stiff so that I can put stuff in there and it won't get wet. So that's Catherine's sweater. I'm not really in a rush to finish it, just because I'm not. I'd rather do something else. More exciting. Okay, so that's Catherine's. Now the next thing on my needles in this super cute monster bag with the ribbon handle I made myself. I don't have any more of these, but I have but I have some cute other ones. This is my Mama Shawl by Jane, or it's called Jane by Judy Furlong. It's really pretty. I made one of these in a more of a worsted weight. I changed the pattern a little to do it. But um this is my my beautiful purple yarn. This is 100% alpaca, I believe. I got it from a friend of mine who goes to her knit night, Ann Claiborne. She runs um, Alpaca Acres, and uh, she has all her own alpacas. It's really pretty. I love all her, her beautiful baby alpacas. Um, but it's called, she calls her yarn Alpaca Acres Fine Yarn, and that's a lace weight. She custom dyed that color for me, because she's my friend. She likes me, sometimes. <laughs> and my third shawl, my third project, and my last for now, is the Storm Cloud Shawlette. It's a really cute garter stitch shawlette. It's just nice. I'm just using it, this um, green yarn I got at Giant Tiger. I think I paid five dollars and got a pound of it in a bag. It's just this really nice green and there's little sequins. I don't know, they don't really show up that well on camera. They're really cute. I'm about halfway done. I don't have much further to go. So that's what I knit on when I just need a break. The kids make me want to have a break a lot lately. So those are all my works in progress and this is another bag I'm working on. It has design problems. I tried to put grommets in it. 
<clears throat> or not grommets, um, snaps. And I couldn't get them to snap. So this one doesn't have snaps. I want to try something else. And when I get it figured out, I'm wondering about Velcro. Putting Velcro closures on the top. When I get it figured out though, it'll be for sale on Etsy too. Okay, so that takes us to FOs. I have this really pretty lacy, oops, stop falling off my desk, lacy um, doily I made over my birthday, and I made this one too. They're both, they were both found in a book, a German book, written in 1911. These are really cute doilies. And they were put on Ravelry by Verlag Auto Buyer Design Team. They were just really cute. They were free. Very neat. First time I've ever done doilies in my life. And I've never done it with thread. Like it's a thread-like yarn. It's just really pretty. I got it off of um, Etsy from Yarntopia, I think. It's really pretty. And the purple yarn, I don't know what it is. It's just some worst that I had around the house. Okay, so that's done. The next thing I finished, I did the duet. And it was in the Mystery Knit 220 group. It was, I think, December 2010, knit along. Finally got it done. I know, it's 2012, but that's okay. So this is it. I decided to fasten it a little different than they did in the picture because I won't wear it that way. Never. It has these really cute buttons I put on instead. They called for two buttons and I thought the three would be better. I mean, it's more like a, a real neck warmer, right? Like, it's, it's Canada here. It's cold. Seriously? We just got like three inches of snow yesterday and we're getting another three inches or so tonight, I think. And the next one up I did was the Bollywood Shawl by Elisa Daly. It's really pretty. I tried to do this at Christmas time for a friend of mine and I got it completely done. I was about maybe one lace repeat from the bottom and I dropped a stitch I realized way back at the beginning. So, and it was in the lace that I dropped the stitch. It wasn't in the garter. I wish it had been in the garter, but uh, this is my shawl. The colors are really pretty. And this is with Fleece Artist, and there's the lace. I did it in Fleece Artist sea wool in the snow crocus colorway and I've decided to give it away <laughs> I know I spent that long working on it crazy huh well I thought my mother-in-law would appreciate it more she she's never really gotten a lot of knitted items so I thought why not what am I gonna do with it I can always make another one she doesn't knit or crochet she used to crochet but she doesn't anymore so I think that that would make a, a nice lady happy. She's always doing nice things for us. So I think that would make her happy. <laughs> Alright, so future projects then. I have got those done, so what's next? Well, I'm going to do the Sh Shizutsuku by Angela Tang. I don't know if you can see that. That's just really cute. I've never done one of these. So it could be fun. I'm hoping. I don't know what I'm using yet. I'll find something. I have so much hair in here. <laughs> Who doesn't? We all have our stashes. Okay, so that brings us to goodies. Well, my goodies are these infinity blocking wires. I've got the lace ones, and they are awesome. I can't say enough about them. They're just, they're so awesome. And you get so many, like, there's two of the big ones, and the biggest ones are wrapped twice around this loop. So it's, it's deceiving, but they're, they're just, they're amazing. I blocked my shawl, and then I blocked the doilies all at the same time, and the duet. All four of the things on my mats. It was awesome. 
I was so happy. <sighs> so I guess that brings us up to life updates. Why didn't I podcast last week? I wanted to podcast before the week was up last week because I podcasted on Wednesday. That's when my very first one went up on YouTube. I was pretty excited. Um, well, I got the cold. Wednesday night, I was sneezing like a storm. I couldn't stop sneezing. It was horrible. So I got that done and I'm better. I, I still have a little bit of the sniffles, but nowhere near as bad. Oh, it was horrible cold. So I guess that leaves us with signing off. <laughs> All right. If you want to contact me, you can reach me at Ravelry as Angel Ellens, all one word. And you could reach me at my group, Dark Angel Knits on Ravelry. Or you can email me at angel.m.ellens at gmail.com. Thank you for watching. Bye. I'm giving up on